it's okay. You are okay. You're doing fine. This is the Begin Within Podcast, where we believe real, lasting health and fitness requires you to start inside before you work out. I'm your host, Nate Slegger, and I'm here to show you behind the scenes of fitness. You already know exercise is good for you, but what about all the other things in life that affect your fitness? If you're looking for extra motivation to get started or to make sure you keep going, this is the place for you. Produced by BeginWithin.fit I am so glad that you are here with me. But could you do me a huge favor? Please rate this podcast in the player that you're listening to it on. If it's Spotify or if it's Apple, especially you can give me a five star rating. That would be awesome. And if you listen on Apple, it would mean so much to me. If you would also review the podcast, just write something nice so that when other people find it, they'll understand that this is a really nice show. (laughs) What that will help me to do is to connect with more people who can benefit from this show. When they search for a fitness or health podcast, this one's more likely to come up in their search results if you rate and review it. So help me and help future listeners by rating and reviewing the Begin Within podcast. Now let's get into our episode. This week started out with National Ditch Your New Year's Resolution Day this past Monday. And whether you are still hanging in there with those New Year's resolutions or if you ditched them this past Monday or farther back than that... Maybe they didn't make it to January 17th to National Ditch Your New Year's Resolutions Day. Maybe you ditched them way before that. I'm here to tell you, it's okay. You are okay. You're doing fine. And maybe you learned an important lesson that we all learn at some point, and that's this. New Year's resolutions don't really work right? I mean, we all know that. That's the, that's the joke that never ends, right? Every year, here it is again. And yet, sometimes we can't resist a fresh calendar, right? We can't resist a fresh week. We can't resist a fresh month. And wow, a fresh year. It feels like we should be ready to accomplish something outstanding, with all that potential. But we go big and then it doesn't end up going the way that we thought it would. And what happens is we end up falling back into our old habits again. That's okay. Totally okay. You are totally fine. You are totally normal because that's what habits are for. That's what habits are all about. And so here on the Begin Within podcast, we've talked so many times with so many different guests about the value of working to build habits, how they actually work, what this process is all about. So the fact that a resolution doesn't work, there's no magic in it when it starts on January 1 any more than when it starts on any other day of the year. It doesn't work because... It's not giving attention to making real changes on the level of habits, on the level of who we are, on the level of our identity, on the level of the things that really keep us motivated, and with respect for how motivation actually works. We've talked about that all here. Today, I want to talk about a concept 
that might be new for you. And it flies in the face of the New Year's resolution process. It flies in the face of the ditch your New Year's resolution day that we just had this week. It is the opposite of the on and off, the black and white, on the wagon, off the wagon, diet, workout program, whatever it is. It's the opposite of that. I'm going to talk to you about this concept, and I'm going to take you through a little exercise to help you to visualize exactly what I am talking about. And this is something that works amazingly with coaching clients with all kinds of different goals, including goals that have nothing to do with health. But this exercise I'm going to take you through applies so beautifully to improving health and fitness and losing weight. So are you ready? Are you ready for it? Okay, let's get started. Now, this whole concept is based on a change in thinking that I'm going to ask you to to make. I'm going to ask you to come along with me on this journey and in fact, hopefully change the way that you think about this for the rest of your life. And I am not sitting here as an expert who figured this out a long time ago and I knew this forever. I have been there. I have done the whole, hey, it's Monday, here we go. I am back on track Monday. It's the 1st of January. Here I go. I'm going to do all this stuff differently than I did it yesterday. I've done it. I've gotten rid of all the quote unquote bad food in the house and gone out grocery shopping and brought all the quote unquote good food in the house because now we're going to do it all different than we did it yesterday. I've done it. But it does not work. It doesn't work that way. I'm going to show you a better way. And it's all based on this change in mindset that has to do with the word continuum. Or a a similar word that maybe you're more familiar with would be like spectrum. So the idea is it's not all or nothing. It's not black or white, right? Like the think about a color color spectrum, right? From black to white. And just imagine in between those two, you have every other possible color ever, you know, seen, ever known to man, right? You could see it like you've done it when you're choosing colors from the color palette on your whatever, your paint program or customizing the color of your font you know what I'm talking about you've got all those all those different colors and it's very hard to tell right when you're in there what's the difference between orange and red where's the line between the two it's really hard to tell or um blue and purple right it's super it's super hard to tell where one becomes another And that, my friends, is the way that it is when it comes to health and fitness and even weight loss. Progress is like that. It's on a continuum or within a spectrum. It's not all or nothing. It's not to say, I am a healthy person. Yes, I'm done. I did it. And it's not ever to say, I am an unhealthy person. I failed. We're never really one or another. We're somewhere in between. So what I want you to do is just imagine that the room you're in, and if you are outside right now, this is going to work even better. But I want you to imagine that there is a line that you're standing on. It goes to your left and to your right. And if you're in a room, it's going to go all the way to the walls on those opposite sides of the room, all the way to the left and to the right. But I want you to imagine that line goes past those walls. If you went outside the room you're in, 
you'd see that line continuing. If you went outside the building you're in, you'd see that line just going on forever and ever. And one direction is healthy, or I might say healthier, and the other direction is less healthy. I think you can see where we're headed, right? You can move toward one direction or the other. You can look to your right and you can stick it, take a step toward healthier, or you can look to your left and you could take a, a step toward less healthy. You can do that at any point you want. But do you all of a sudden get a label once you've taken that step? Well, now I'm not healthy anymore. I failed. Or once you take a step to your right toward healthy, or I'm sorry, toward healthier, I'm going to get this right. Just stick with me. Do you all of a sudden become a healthy person like you're done? No, of course not. You get the idea. We're always moving. We're always, our goal is always to be intentional about the direction that we are moving. Is this decision going to move me in the direction of healthier? Appreciating this, understanding this, being able to visualize this and being able to understand that this is the way that health fitness, and even weight loss works. Because as we move in the direction toward healthier, we expect that we're going to get some results, including losing unwanted body fat, unhealthy body fat, right? This is the way that it works. And when we have this mindset, when things start to change for us and we understand it's a spectrum, the world opens up. I promise you, you will feel differently. You'll feel differently when you make a decision that you know is not maybe on a cellular level going to make you healthier. Maybe you didn't have healthier fuel for your cells, but you understand that now you are more motivated. Maybe you took a step to the left, but now more motivated to take more steps to the right toward healthier because you had a little break. You had some fun all of a sudden, the pressure is off of us and we can actually start to make real progress, real changes in life. When we start to realize it is about small steps in the right direction. If I have to prepare to go on the diet, if I have to make all these changes overnight to now take on this new healthy lifestyle without having taken the appropriate steps leading up to it to change habits, to change who I am, to change my behaviors, it's all going to be for nothing. And maybe 17 days, right? January 1 to January 17th, I'm going to be ready to quit. I'm going to be done. I'm going to be ready to throw away what I had resolved to do because it was too big, too drastic, and did not respect the actual way that this process works. This episode is brought to you by our virtual, that is 100% online, six-week challenge. What's the challenge, you might be wondering? The challenge is to stay accountable to us for all six weeks with healthy movement and nutrition using regular workouts which are designed for you and a personalized meal plan we create with you by utilizing the very best ways we found to help our coaching clients to get real results including weight loss. To get more details or to save your spot in the next round of our six-week challenge, go to the link in the show notes or go to beginwithin.fit and click on the Join Our Challenge button. Make sure you save your spot today.
So what I want to do now before we wrap up is just to walk through how this actually works in practice. How I might actually look at myself or maybe help a client to use this idea of a continuum, right? Or um, moving along the spectrum to make some real changes. And we're going to talk about breakfast. So imagine that I want to make changes. I want to live a healthier life. I expect that as I do that, I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to lose unwanted, unhealthy levels of body fat that I've been carrying around. And I'm going to feel better. I'm going to be better. And I know that my breakfast is one of one of the problems, one of the things that's holding me back. I see an opportunity to move toward healthier with my breakfast. My breakfast, maybe it's a really big coffee drink with all kinds of extra um, fat added in and sugar added in. And maybe it's a, a pastry of some sort, right? Something that has a uh, lots of sugar and lots of f- fat as well. And that's my breakfast. It's on the go. It's quick. And I know I've got to do something different. So what do I think? Well, the the resolutioner, right? The person that's on and off, black and white, they're going to say, that's it. I'm done with that breakfast. Today, I am going to drink only water for breakfast. And I am going to eat broccoli for breakfast. That's my healthy, that's healthy. That's my healthy breakfast. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to do that. You might be laughing. That person is not going to succeed. And you're probably right. So what should they do instead? They should just take a step. I should just take a step toward healthy if this is me. A step toward healthier. (laughs) Hang in there. I'm going to get it. Maybe by the end of this episode, I'll get this. It's not healthy. It's healthier, right? We're moving in that direction. And so instead of making this big drastic change, maybe I had a certain restaurant that I went to, a drive through and I used to get this stuff. So instead of making a big drastic change, I'll still go to that same drive through Let's be honest. I'm used to doing it. It's on the way to work. It's convenient. Okay. But let's look at maybe the drink. What's something I could do with that drink that would move me toward healthier? Maybe I could make it smaller. You know, I get that really big, huge one. And I'm going to just get a smaller one of those starting tomorrow. And that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a step toward healthier. And let some time go by and then maybe make another change. See how easy that is? See how easy it is to come up with a solution and even then to implement the solution? And maybe then it's, I'll make it another size smaller later. Maybe then it's, I'm going to change it so that there's less fat or less sugar in it. Maybe eventually I'm just going to have a black coffee. Maybe eventually I'm going to look at that pastry and have a smaller size of that. Or maybe I'm going to order something different, but I'm still going to the drive through I'm still on the way to work. It's convenient, but I'm making steady changes to move toward healthier, move to lean in that direction. I tell you the truth in all honesty, that that is how real change can happen, does happen happen. And those changes, they happen fast. And it's not just making one change to move toward healthier. It's about becoming a healthier version of yourself, a healthier person who then is going to make healthier decisions throughout the day. Now, when it comes to lunch, maybe I get a smaller drink there, a smaller soda, whatever I was used to. I start thinking in terms of just making healthier steps to make it healthier. That's it. And when I take a step 
you know, to the left in that kind of visualization that we did, all is not lost. I did not fail. I can move back. I can lean back to the right very easily. This is huge. This is a huge change in thinking when it comes to the culture that we've come to um, come to have when it comes to making health decisions and fitness changes. This is huge. Start. I want you to start thinking in terms of this continuum or this spectrum idea when it comes to the decisions that you make to move in a healthier direction. If you're feeling lost, if this is just blowing your mind, I'm happy to talk with you. You can shoot me an email. You can connect with me on Instagram. Send me a message. I want to help. But I have a feeling that this is resonating with you. I have a feeling that you're thinking, yes, no, this makes sense. And this is something I can do. This is something that you don't you know, turn on and then 17 days later you think, I'm done. This is terrible. I can't do it anymore. This is something that's sustainable. This is something that will serve you for the rest of your life. I know it sounds simple, maybe too simple to be true, maybe too simple to be effective, but it is. I promise you, you can do this. I want you to start today. I want you to take a moment right now and ask yourself, what might be the tiniest, easiest, simplest, littlest step that I can take toward healthier that's going to have the biggest impact? on my life moving forward. I want you to commit to taking it. And then I want you to do it. I want you to take that step. I want you to take action and move in a healthier direction. I hope this was beneficial for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to talk to you again very soon here on the Begin Within podcast.